Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Ilma and uh, I've been posting vlogs every day for nine years so today I'd like to share Titus 1 verse 15 to 16. To the pure, here's the word of God, to the pure all things are pure but to those who are defiled and unbelieving nothing is pure but both their mind and their conscience are defiled. They profess to know God, but their deeds deny Him, being detestable and disobedient, and worthless for any good deed. Titus 1, verses 15 to 16. And here's my devotional. The Pure and the Defiled Paul explains further to Titus in this letter that he needs to ensure that the believer's faith and integrity are safeguarded. It is of utmost importance that believers in Christ stay pure and sanctified because they are set apart from the world. As he wrote to the Romans earlier than this letter to Titus, he says in Romans 12:1, I appeal to you therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God which is your spiritual worship. Paul also reiterates Jesus' teaching in the Sermon on the Mount as, Blessed are the pure in hearts, for they shall see God. That's in Matthew 5, verse 8. Paul's letter to the Galatians were written between A.D. 49 and 50. It was the first of all his letters written. This letter to Titus, according to re records, were written in A.D. 60 to 62. In Galatians 5.19, Paul tells the Galatian believers that impurity and debauchery are acts of the flesh. He guides the believers to walk in the Spirit so that they won't gratify their flesh. That's in Galatians 5.16 to 18. Paul delegates his shepherding duties and his authority to Titus since he was still in prison. In caring for the believers, he differentiates the pure against the defiled, just as he explained in his letter to the Galatians, almost over a decade, a decade ago, that you can only stay pure if you walk in the Spirit. Those who walk in the flesh will defile themselves, and nothing will be pure because their minds and hearts are all after their own desires. In verse 16, Paul describes the hypocrisy of these people who says that they know God and yet their lives showcase the works of the evil one. Matthew Henry comments on these passages as, To those who are defiled and unbelieving, nothing is pure. They abuse and turn things lawful and good into sin. Many profess to know God, yet in their lives deny and reject Him. See the miserable state of hypocrites, such as have a form of godliness but are without power. Yet, let us not be so ready to fix this charge on others, as careful that it does not apply to ourselves. Reflection. How can a believer ensure that their purity stays intact in a world full of evil and deceit? Well, the Bible says, Abide in me, and Christ will be with you. So when you abide in Christ, you seek the truth, you live the Word, the Word of God, all His commands, you obey Him, you uh, follow His uh, path, which is the narrow path. Anything that is comfortable, you have to have second thoughts about that because that's probably not the path to Christ. So... That's one way of staying pure, to abide in Him. The next is to ensure that you follow the mandates that Christ is asking as of believers, that they preach the good news and that they make disciples of all nations because that is the only way that we can annihilate evil in this world by bringing truth to the ends of the earth. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website. I'm a painter, photographer, and a writer. So I have a, a website with my gallery of my works at ilmaarts.com. 
and I also would want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel so the Word of God will be propagated. Thanks for watching. God loves you so much, and so do I.